Welcome to Ghost Storybook, the best collection of true ghost stories. Today's story is The Visitor. As a child, we all seemed to be afraid of the dark for many reasons. We were afraid of the boogeyman, saw doors closed or open on their own, saw a shadow figure, or felt like we were being watched. Funny thing about that was half the time we were right. I've been holding back from saying my stories for years for many reasons, mainly because I just thought I was crazy. But hearing that other people have gone to similar experiences as me made me a believer. The stories I am about to tell you are not fiction. These are real and are based on my life. Enjoy. Chapter 1. Peekaboo March 20th, 1997 Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe that spirits get lost and instead of crossing over, they wander among us? Do you believe some are evil and some are good? I do. Grandma, there's somebody in Orly's room. What? As she storms out of the restroom from her room. Where? She asked. Too afraid to look down the hallways that led to my uncle's bedroom, I pointed and said, behind the door. It was just another day for me. Being the only child at the time, my parents would drop me off at my grandma's house on their way to work. I loved going to Granny's. She let me watch movies all day, and she'll make me my favorite grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. But I wasn't ready for what I was about to witness on this day. Grandma was in her room watching her favorite show, and I believe every Hispanic lady's show, the Don Francisco show. Boy, would she go nuts for that guy. I decided to head over to my Uncle Orly's room to start my daily routine, watch movies. As I head down the hallway, I heard a loud laugh coming from his room. I figured it was my uncle back from work, but it was too early in the day for him to be home. I called out his name and the laughter stopped. I immediately froze halfway down the hallway, not knowing who could possibly be in the room. I turned back to my grandma's room and called out for my grandma, but she was in the restroom and told me to give her a sec. I turned back to my uncle's room and I felt like my soul was just pushed out of my body. I couldn't move. I couldn't blink. I couldn't do anything. I was completely in shock of what I was staring at. I was face to face with a tall, pale man with orange hair and a huge smile as if he was waiting for me to see him. The man would wink at me and point at me, taunting me to go to the room. He would also poke his head in and out, playing peekaboo with me. Everything was just unexpected, but when I heard his laugh was when I knew this was bad. I called out for my grandma again in fear, but no answer, so I ran back to her room and banged on her restroom door. She finally came out and asked what was wrong. With tears running down my face and shaking, I told her that there was a man in Orly's room. She immediately grabbed a bat she kept by her bed and walked down the hallway as she yelled, Who's there? No answer, of course. I walked behind her as she walked down the hallways, making her way to my uncle's room. We first came across the restroom before getting to my uncle's room. No sign of anyone. As we came closer and closer to the room of no return, something told me that maybe I was the only one who could see him. We looked behind the door, in the closet, underneath the bed, everywhere, and no sign of anyone. The man was gone. My grandma saw how upset I was. She decided to check the whole house just to make sure no one actually got in, but every door was locked. As I stayed in my uncle's room, I decided to continue my daily routine and began watching movies. But I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel like I was alone in the room. The day flew by and not one sign of the man. My dad got out early, so he was able to pick me up. Normally my mom would do it, but I was excited to see my dad. I grabbed my things and said goodbye to my grandma. Not one word was mentioned to my dad about what happened. As we drove off, I took one more look back to my grandma's house 
and saw the man picked out of the window in my uncle's room. With a huge smile, and as he pointed with excitement, I knew this wasn't the last time I will see him. I sat back down in my seat and kept quiet until that day came. Thank you for listening. Subscribe us for more stories.